Hi, everyone. All right, let's go ahead and work out this example. On an exam, 10 multiple choice questions are asked. So this is important. Each question has four uh, <clears throat> options. Only one is correct. A student guesses the answers randomly. Find the probability that the student guesses at most two questions correctly. Now, this is a binomial uh, probability problem. So we're going to go ahead and write down the following components. So we know that for binomial probability, we use the formula probability that x is equal to x. This is going to be n choose x times p to the power of x times q to the power of n minus x. So let's go ahead and identify these for this particular problem. So for this problem, we're given uh, 10 multiple choice questions. So that means our little n is going to be 10. So p, little p would represent answering a question correctly. So there are four options and there's only one correct option. So probability of answering it correctly is one out of four. That means q, it's gonna be not answering it correctly. So that's one minus p, a complement of it. Or I can think of this as one minus one fourth, which will give us three fourth. All right, so we found our p and q. Now let's go ahead and define our event x. So let x stands for, let's suppose x it denotes the number of questions the student guessed correctly. So I'm just gonna write, let's see you guess, guessed it correctly. <clears throat> the student guessed the question correctly. We want to know what is the probability that the student guessed at most two, that means maximum you can guess correctly would be two. So that means X is less than or equal to two. That's what we want. So either you can get zero correct by guessing or one or two, no more than two. So this you can break it up into probability that X equals zero plus the probability X equals one plus the probability X is equal to two. So we're gonna sum them all up and that will be our uh, probability for uh, this event right here, which is guessing at most two correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that by using this uh, binomial probability formula. So for probability that x equals zero, so of the 10, we're going to choose zero uh, done correctly times p, p is one fourth to the zeroth power times uh, q that's three fourth to the 10th power. So that's how you um set this one up. And then if you put this in your calculator, I believe you'll get about 0 0.056. For this, so that's what we're going to substitute right here. So that's the probability we are going to place right here. Let's go ahead and find the next one. Probability that the student guessed one question correctly. So that would be 10, choose one, any order. So off the any 10, you go you guess one correctly times one fourth to the one power, and then three fourth to the uh, 10 minus one, that's ninth power. That's how you set it up. And then if you put this in your calculator, you'll get about 0.1877. So that is the probability that the student guessed one question correctly. We're gonna put that right here. And the last one, uh, probability that the student guessed two questions correctly. So of the 10, we're going to choose two, any order again, that's why combinations. Then we have one fourth to the second power and then three fourth to the power of 10 minus two, that would be eight. And then if you put this in your calculator, you'll get about 0.2816, I believe. So that will be our uh, probability for this event. And then we just add them up and that'll be our probability of this event that the student gets at most two correctly. So our final answer for this problem. So let's go ahead and write that down. Probability X is less than or equal to two. It's gonna be 0 0.056 plus 0.1877 plus 0.2816. And then if you add them up using a calculator, you should get about 0.5253. So that is the probability for this particular event.